Sentinels. We recently spent a week in Cotacachi, which is one of the most popular cities in Ecuador for expats. And while we were there, we filmed several videos, of course, including a neighborhood tour. So today we're going to show you some of the most popular areas in Cotacachi for both expats and Ecuadorians. Before we dive in and show you the popular expat neighborhoods of Cotacachi, Ecuador, we want to tell you about one of our favorite ways to learn Spanish and today's sponsor, LingoPie. LingoPie is a language learning program that lets you learn conversational Spanish from native speakers and you can be entertained at the same time. It is very entertaining and they have programming from all over the world, including Ecuador. We Yay. were so excited when they added Ecuador. We really enjoyed watching Ecuadorian Adventure with Damien because he travels throughout Ecuador and shows you the local culture and cuisines. Yes, and I really appreciate LingoPie's new speedometer feature. They added a, an even slower pace because Damien talks really fast <laughs> and it's hard for me to comprehend what he says sometimes when he really gets going. So I really like being able to slow down the speed. I also really like the repeat feature that helps with my comprehension because it repeats the same phrase over and over again so I can really hear it and, and get used to it. I really like the flashcard feature because you can click on words that you don't know or that you want to study and build your own flash deck which you can then review during or after the video and it also creates a word list for you to review. They have also added podcasts so that makes it easy for you to learn while you're walking on the beach or the treadmill or just working out and the mobile app is really easy to use and user-friendly so that you can learn while you're traveling. There's also a leaderboard, so if you like to know where you rank amongst your peers, they've got you covered. <laughs> yeah, if you're for the competitor types out there. All right, guys, I'm gonna put a link just below the video. If you click that, you're gonna get a smoking deal, 65% off the annual plan. One of the reasons why we wanted to film this video is because when we were doing our research five years ago, Kotakachi was near the top of our list, but we really couldn't find a lot of useful information about neighborhoods or housing and so we kind of crossed it off just for lack of information. Yeah and when I was doing our research to go on our um, week-long trip I couldn't find a lot of information either so I just kind of had to wing it with the Airbnb. It worked out well but it would have been helpful to at least find, find a map. <laughs> yeah yeah so we're going to share that with you in this video. Starting with the first neighborhood is called La Casa de los Sueños. This is located about a five to ten minute walk from the downtown area of Cotacachi it's a condo development and it's really beautiful. It's like a fairy tale. Yeah, we were just amazed when we walked in there. It was like we walked into another world. You walk into this beautiful gated community where the grounds are immaculately maintained and it's really quiet. It's on the edge of town and apparently they can't do any more building behind there. So you have beautiful views of the grass and the mountains. One of the best things about the neighborhood is that it's so walkable to downtown where all the restaurants and cafes are located and shopping. It's also a really quiet neighborhood. The area has several houses, but it's a residential area, so you don't get a lot of pass-through traffic. It's on a dead end, so there's no buses driving through. It's also a very affordable neighborhood. We did a real estate tour and featured a property that's located here. So we're gonna show that in a future video, but if you're looking for an affordable luxury place to live, this is a great spot. Right in that area, there is also an outdoor workout area with a pickleball court. We get questions about that all the time. Yeah, it's actually, a, I think, a tennis court, but the gringos use it for pickleball. Yeah, and there's a couple little mini tiendas so you can get your essentials. So you don't have to go all the way into town if you don't want to, although, as JP mentioned, it's a pretty short walk. The next neighborhood we want to show you is El Encanto, which is about a 10 minute walk north of Parque Central in downtown Cotacachi. This is another gated community, but this community is a maintenance free area with single family homes and bigger lots. And it is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, the grounds are really nicely maintained. Lots of flowers and bushes and trees and grass. One thing that we've noticed about this area it's unlike Cuenca is that there's no large fences or gates around the homes that they're all open. There is a gate or a fence around the, the entire property development, but not around the individual homes, which is really nice, which makes it feel a lot more open. Yeah, it definitely felt more upscale and open and spacious to me. And it was very quiet over there as well. The houses are also really nice. They're a nice size, single family detached home. So you're not right up against your neighbor and you don't have anyone pounding around above you like you do in a condo building. 
It's also in a really quiet area. It's kind of off the beaten path, so you don't get a lot of the loud drive-by traffic. We were shocked by the breathtaking views of Imbabura and really throughout the entire area of Cotacachi. There are views for miles and kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> the next area we want to show you is about a 10 minute drive southeast of the central part of Cotacachi. It's in the countryside and that's what the locals call it, the country. And these are nice houses on big lots. Yeah, it is worth taking a drive out there whether you want to visit or live there. It was so beautiful and so peaceful. And I guess it's in between Cotacachi and Otavalo. So it is a nice location. And you don't need to have a car if you want to live out there because you can take buses or take a taxi into town. Yeah, they drive by on the main road, which is a ways from the houses, so it's not that loud. Mm -hmm. But you can just walk out to the main entrance of the area and catch a bus or a taxi. Yeah, it was so pretty out there. And as JP said, the lots are bigger. So you can have a lot of animals if you want them. You can have big gardens and you can have neighbors from all over the world, not just from North America and Ecuador. It's pretty diverse. Yes, and it's beautiful. The yes. views, you have views of both Imbabura volcano and the Cotacachi volcano. And it's just the, I just sat there and amazed, <laughs> mesmerized by the views. I couldn't stop looking at them with the clouds sitting on top of those tall volcanoes. It's, it just looks like you're on a different planet. And everything was just so green there and the air was very crisp and clean. We loved it. The next neighborhood we want to show you is called San Miguel. It's about a 10 minute walk from Cotacachi proper due west of town. It is beautiful. It's completely different than El Encanto. It's another gated neighborhood with no uh, fences around the houses and with really big lots, but all of the homes are completely different. They're all single family, but it just had a completely different feel to it. It had kind of a happy vibe. Yeah. I really liked it. <laughs> yeah, the style of housing is more like what I would call Southwest style or traditional Latin with the terracotta roofs and, and stucco. It was really neat. A lot of the houses were really had really cool designs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we really enjoyed walking around that neighborhood and the views, once again, were stunning. Another nice thing about San Miguel is that while most of the yards were not fully fenced, meaning they didn't have fences in the front yard, some of them did and some of them had fenced backyards so that if you have pets, you can just let them out to do their business and not have to put them on a leash and take them for a walk. Although you could easily take your dog on that nice loop around that neighborhood. There's also a lot of other residential neighborhoods right in that area. So if you like that part of town, you have a lot more options. The next neighborhood we want to talk about is Plaza del Sol. We're not exactly sure if that is the official name of this area, but that is, it's right by the entrance to Cotacachi and that's what the plaza is called. So we're calling it that. It's about a 10 minute walk to the Indian restaurant, <laughs> Vandenham. So, you know, that's an important landmark for us, but it's about 10 minutes to, to walk into town from there. Yeah, we really enjoyed staying in that neighborhood. It reminded us more of a traditional Cuenca neighborhood, like where we lived in Albert Hell because the houses were all more like those row homes and they all had the, um, the walls with the fences around them. But it was super, super quiet there. A lot of expats like living in that neighborhood, at least according to our host at our Airbnb. She said there's lots of expats mm -hmm. that live in that area. And it's located right by the soccer field. So if that's important to you, you'll have entertainment on the weekends. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't hear any soccer games or football. We should say it by its real name. Football. TV. Football games while we were there. However, I did enjoy the smell of the eucalyptus trees because there is a creek that runs over by that area. And our walks into town, we got to enjoy some grazing cows and pigs. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of farm animals in that area. So you can be walking down the street next to a herd of cows. Yep. <laughs> but you also might run into some kids playing too. I loved mm -hmm. hearing the sound of the kids playing. It's a really nice neighborhood. If you really want to immerse yourself in the Ecuadorian culture and learn the language, your best place to live is going to be in the center part of Cotacachi. This applies pretty much everywhere in Ecuador. Absolutely. There is a wide variety of housing in downtown Cotacachi or in El Centro, as we like to call it. Whether you want a single family home, but it's going to be more like a row home or a condo building, or perhaps you want to rent an apartment above a retail or a restaurant, the sky's the limit. Mm -hmm. Lots of hotels too. 
The other nice thing about living downtown is that you're just steps away from all kinds of restaurants. Kotakachi has tons of restaurants, yeah. coffee shops, indoor and outdoor. There's lots of shopping, so you can get pretty much anything you need there. There is a Tia located right in the center of town, and that's uh, Ecuador's version of kind of an express or small grocery store. If you want to go to a full grocery store, that is going to be in Ibarra. That, that's where the Super Maxi is mm -hmm. located. And we were told that a lot of the expats go over there once a month and stock up on all of their bulk stuff. But most of the stuff you can buy in Kotakachi itself. And there is a Mercado with a bus terminal right there in town, too. Kotakachi really has everything. We absolutely <laughs> loved it. There's also a farmer's market that they have there every Thursday. So you can go and get your local produce from a variety of vendors. And mm -hmm. it's, I shouldn't just say produce. They had all sorts of stuff for sale. Mm -hmm. Lots of organic stuff, mm -hmm. too which was really nice. And there's a lot of holistic stores in Kotakachi. So we were able to find CBD oil, which helps with my back when I'm at elevation like that. My back hurts and I get the nerve, the uh, neuropathy in my feet and the CBD oil really helps with that. So we were thankful to find one of those shops. We have a real estate tour video showing some properties in a few of these neighborhoods. So stay tuned for that. You're gonna be shocked at how affordable the housing is for what you get in this area, we definitely understand why expats love it. It's certainly a lot more affordable than the coast where we live now. That is the truth. I think that's all we have for this video. If you found it helpful, leave us a thumbs up, please. We hope you have an unconventional day as always, and we will see you all in our next video. Ciao. Ciao.